Hi there, I'm Flag 6 Chief Meteorologist J.P. Dice. Here's an update on the severe weather potential as we make our way into the weekend. First off tonight, no concerns with severe weather. Our main issue, some light rain and some fog out there. We're seeing some of that fog right there in the low-level clouds. You can see that from our uh, UAB Medical West camera out in Bessemer looking at Highway 11. Tomorrow, starting off with fog, temperatures around 58 degrees. The rain will return after 5 o'clock tomorrow, mainly areas south of Interstate 20, then spreading more northward as we get through tomorrow night. 8A games, we're going to be in good shape. It's going to be cloudy. Uh, there is a chance of rain toward the end of both the Alabama game and the Auburn game. Notice the temperatures mid and upper 70s, so pretty comfortable out there. Have the rain gear just in case, but I don't think we'll see any long-lasting rain event or anything like that. Again, the rain chances would be highest toward the end of both of those games. So the convective outlook, this is our day three from the Storm Prediction Center, and we are in a slight risk for severe weather. They've got really the bullseye there across Arkansas, uh, Jonesboro, uh, West Tennessee, around Memphis, all the way down toward Shreveport, Louisiana. For us, this is what I'm expecting. It's going to be a stormy Sunday. We'll see one round of thunderstorms Sunday morning. Also a lot of rain with this particular system Sunday morning. I think we'll probably end up with even some small hail. That's going to be prior to, say, 10 a.m. Then we'll get a good break in the action. And then here we go, Sunday night. After 10 p.m., thunderstorms start moving in from the west. We've got several computer models that are indicating a high level of both instability and, and wind shear. We know those are the key ingredients for tornadoes. I uh, will be absolutely honest with you here. Forecast models have done an absolutely poor job this week with the forecast. They've really just not had a good handle on this situation. That said, I still have some concern about what we can expect Sunday uh, late at night, probably after 10 o'clock through about 2, 3 o'clock in the morning. You can see by around midnight, 1 a.m., uh, severe thunderstorms possibly crossing the I-65 corridor and then moving on out toward maybe 3, 4 o'clock in the morning toward Georgia. So that's what we're anticipating right now. Greatest threat for severe weather would be Sunday evening and especially after 9, 10 p.m. Storm threats, lightning, hail, wind, and tornadoes. We are looking at the possibility of some supercell thunderstorms forming. We know those are the type of thunderstorms that do sometimes produce tornadoes. A lot of wind shear, a lot of instability possibly with this system. We're going to continue to monitor it. Looks like a decent day tomorrow. Not the best. It's going to be overcast. But uh, Sunday, really stay weather alert as we get into Sunday evening. We'll be watching the system very closely here on Fox 6. And uh, check us out on TV too. We'll have a full rundown of what you can expect. Fox 6 Chief Meteorologist J.P. Dice.